Good day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So today, Beyond 40. So I did a video on uh, my stats when level 50 dropped. Uh, so if you want to check that out, I'll link that now and you can check that video out. Um, and that just shows all my, well, my XP, my all my medals, everything um, that happened when level 50 dropped. Uh, but for now, I'm going to jump into, well, the requirements to get level 41. So the first one is XP. So you need 6 million XP. Um, if you're a legacy player, you will have passed that. So as you can see, I've got a little bit over my 6 million there to uh, be able to level up. So I'm going to be looking at um, the level requirements. So only three for this first, um, well, from level 40 to 41, and that's power up a, a legendary Pokemon 20 times. It's not actually a legendary Pokemon, it's power up legendary Pokemon um, 20 times, so you can do as many as you want. Um, as you're going to see, win 30 raids and catch 200 Pokemon in a single day. Um, so I guess the most annoying for me um, is win 30 raids, because I'm... Yeah, take some time if you don't want to use premium passes. So in terms of, we'll jump in and we'll start the powering up Pokemon. So um, there's two things that I would suggest to do. Jump into your Pokemon, search for legendary. Um, there is a quick search option for that now, so you don't even need to type it in if you don't want to. Um, and then if you're going to power up a Pokemon, a legendary Pokemon, to max anyway, um, now's the perfect time to do it. If you have a favorite Pokemon, do that, level it up. Otherwise, what you want to do is um, rank by CP, easiest way to do it, and then look to power up your lowest level Pokemon um, once or twice each. Um, it'll be much, much cheaper on Candy, much, much cheaper on Stardust. So if you're looking to save Stardust, save Candy, um, go to your lowest level legendaries, power them up once or twice, um, and then move on to the next one. Um, if you've got something that you like um, and are going to power up anyway, now's the time. Invest in it now. You might as well. Um, it's not going to be any better time. So um, I've got a few. So shiny, Led shiny Lugia, um, going to want to power that up. Um, I can only power it up twice, but it cost me 30 candy. Um, so just absolutely insane amounts of candy. Um, and then because eventually I will max that out. And then we've got Shiny Mewtwo. Who doesn't want to max that thing out? Absolutely insane. So I've powered up a few times, but I've only got 13 uh, Mewtwo candy, um, and I'm going to need a whole lot more if I want to max this thing. So it's going to cost me 182 candy and 150,000 Stardust. Um, so now's the time. Might as well invest some rare candy into it. Um, and this is why I've been saving a bit of rare candy. Um, you can see I've got a little bit that I can uh, spend, so I will use it to power up my Mewtwo because I will power that, max that out at some point. It's already above um, any threshold for um, PvP, so 3500 CP. It's in Open Masters uh, now, so there's no reason. I'm not trying to keep it under any threshold, so just max this thing out. It's going to cost me 150,000 Stardust and 182 candy which most of that is rare candy uh, but there it is powered up and cp 4094 absolutely spectacular who doesn't like mewtwo one of my favorite pokemon i'd say mew is probably my f above mewtwo in my books uh, but mewtwo's very close uh, close behind as you can see i've got a couple more mewtwo's powered up there one was my very first mewtwo i ever caught and then i also managed to catch a hundo mewtwo as well so powered that one up so that was uh, powering up um the next one is uh raids so 30 raids i am um, didn't want to yeah didn't want to uh spend too many premium passes but I did uh, want to get it done fairly quickly because I am above the threshold. So it did take me a few days, spent a few premium passes, but uh, didn't go too crazy and get it done in a day or two, uh, like a few people I know. So a um, few random raids there that I did over the course of um, a week or so, um, but got that uh, done in the end and uh, threw in a couple of one stars. So it's really not difficult. You can do whatever raids you want. Um, so if you don't have a raid group, 
just jump in those one stars and get it done. Um, looking for Shiny Bag on there, so unfortunately wasn't able to get it. Um, the other one is catch 200 Pokemon in a single day. Um, it sounds like a lot, but it's actually really not. It's, um, the Probably the easiest way to do it would be to jump onto a community day, throw on uh, a lure and uh, throw on an incense, sorry, throw on a couple of lures if you're doing laps of a park um, and you're going to be passing the stops all the time and you will catch um, your 200 Pokemon fairly easily, to be honest. Um, spend probably an hour or two uh, solid and you will absolutely smash it. Sounds like a long time, but hour to catch 200 Pokemon, not too bad. Um, and you can get it done even on a normal day. Throw in a couple of incense and um, catch, and you'd be surprised at how close you'll actually get to, or how easy it is to actually catch 200 Pokemon in a single day. So um, none of those tasks are hard. The most annoying for me is uh, was the raids, um, and that's because I wanted to get it done quickly, but didn't want to spend a whole lot of premium passes. If you're waiting for 6 million worth of XP, you'll get 30 raids done, no problem whatsoever. So I did a Chansey for my last raid because I wanted to try and get a Shiny. Unfortunately, as you can see, it was not Shiny. Um, good to try and make some excellent throws there. Unfortunately, my circle size did uh, break out. So set your circle size to as small as possible, throw it after the attack and hit that excellent. So I've got a video on that as well, so you can check that out if you want to improve your excellent throws. Um, unfortunately, you've got to be patient and double attack from the Chansey there. Well, I was not patient enough. Uh, wait for the next one and then hit that excellent throw again. So I got pretty lucky there, able to smash those two excellents and caught it on the third ball, so not too bad. Um, and that got me to level 41. So outstanding got a few items there so the most interesting item is a extra large rare candy uh, don't know what i'm going to spend that on and then let's have a look at the tasks for level 42 so seven and a half million xp uh, Eevee, evolve Eevee into each of its uh, evolutions use 15 items to evolve pokemon make three excellent throws and use 200 uh, berries to help catch pokemon none of those again are very very tricky um and it'll just take a little bit of time. So that one's not too bad. So what you can do um, is prep um, for it. So throw Eevee on as your buddy. Walk 10Ks. Because if you need to, uh, every evolution, you're going to need Espeon and Umbreon. Um, and to get those, you need to evolve an Eevee that is currently your buddy at either day, during the day or at night, depending on which of the two you want. You'll have to do, obviously, one of each for that. Um, but you can uh, do that. Uh, beforehand so before you get there um, you can walk them 10ks each again if you're having to get seven and a half million XP to level up you probably don't need to worry about it um, for anyone that was rushing um, good to pre walk these things uh, just makes it very easy especially if you can only do it at the day at night um, makes it really really easy there but nothing to sort of difficult let's be honest about that by the time you earn if you're um, earning the XP and leveling up as you go by the time you earn seven and a half million XP you will have used 200 berries a hundred percent you will have thrown three excellent throws if you've not you really need to check out uh, check out my video on uh, improving your excellent throws because at the moment uh, you earn what 2,000 XP for hitting an excellent throw um, if you're trying to get XP um, now excellent throws is probably the best catching things with an excellent throw is probably the best way to do it throw on a star piece and it's just absolutely insane amount of XP you can earn from that so check it out and uh, hopefully you're going as well if not better than me in your journey to level 50 so thanks very much for watching and I will uh, see you in the next one bye for now